It feels like forever since I did a project and I do apologise. I've just had so many false starts, so much work trips abroad and it's just, it's just been a bit crazy. So I feel to get into it, we're going to do a little mini unboxing just so I can show you some of the things I want to play with right now. So the first up is this Helltech Wi-Fi Kit 32, as they're calling it. But really, it's just an ESP32 based board that comes with an OLED screen available from all of your standard places for just a few pounds. But it does have some nice features. So it does feature the ESP32, uh, but you'll also notice here it does have a battery charging port. So you can put a lithium polymer battery on there. It does have built-in Wi-Fi, of course, and I'm not sure if the ESP32 is Bluetooth, but definitely Wi-Fi. Actually, I'm pretty sure it does have Bluetooth, but I think it's one of the data variants. And uh, a nice little OLED screen, so that's everything you need. And you can use the programming buttons to reflash this and use the Arduino software. Next up, we have here the MakerFire D1 Mini. It says Nodment, Nodment board, IoT for Arduino. So I don't know what that actually is supposed to mean. But there comes in a packet of two, again from Amazon. And this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is the ESP8, I want to say 8266. I do get a bit confused with these, but we'll read it off the chip here, which is, well, it doesn't actually say, but it is. <laughs> it's the precursor, the ESP12 chipset here on a nice little diddy board that happens to also have the reset and Arduino programming things on there for you good to go and you can see you do have a little bit of IO but you don't have too much on this particular chipset but because it's Arduino fied of course that just makes it just really useful for IoT products say products projects products whatever you want comes with this nice selection of headers actually including these extra long ones which are really cool so that you can of course then stack them up if you uh, are that way inclined so that'd be really good for breadboarding projects and uh, really just adding that wi-fi-ness to your arduino products without too much effort again two of those for next to nothing they're really cheap and now of course this is the really exciting thing because this is absolutely bonkers this was under seven pounds delivered from Amazon Prime and it's five pieces of these remember five of these boards and these teeny little things are a microwave board so effectively a radar Doppler PCB all packaged up just ready to go uh, apparently you can put a light dependent uh, sensor here I don't want CDS a uh, anyway <laughs> in there and you can fiddle with some values on these components to adjust it so you can make it so that this microwave comes on only at night and this can be used as an occupancy sensor they do work through walls if i'm not mistaken but let's just have a quick look at the pinout so you have cds so that's for that sensor i guess if you have it v in out ground and 3v3 so it's got quite a lot going for it now the weird thing is i don't know if the 3v3 is an in or an out on this because i did feel I read in the literature that has a wide voltage range so I'm not sure if it actually has built-in regulation on that chip I mean it's a lot going on that chip if it does Let's see if we can read a number of it it's uh gosh RCWL9196 from the look of it so that's an interesting chip so you can see between all of those we should be able to knock something together pretty cool I think we could probably use uh, this plus the sensor there and that would just give us a wireless room occupancy sensor that we could just poll or use um, any of the IoT protocols to just update, uh, you know, keep a chart updated of when the last detection was. So between it, we actually have three uh, Arduino units and five of these. Now, I probably have quite a few more of these knocking around, so we could probably could just build a little sensor network. So stay tuned for that in a very future video. If you have used any of these, it would be really great to ping me and let me know how you got on with it. Uh, just join my Discord and uh, you know maybe uh, come up with some uses. I think there's definitely a, a vast array of things we can use these for. And this whole lot, imagine this whole set of stuff probably cost um, probably under £15 or something like that. So it's just pretty much bargain basement, certainly under 20 
So, get to it, get on Amazon, pick these up, and we'll play with these in a future video. Thanks for watching.